this episode, we ask the questions like, my son's really big for his age, should he do all of the normal exercises? And my child wants to do Olympic lifting, is that okay? You ask questions and we'll answer them. This is the Ask DVCC Academy Edition Show. Hey, this is Mark and Steve from the DVCC and this is the Ask DVCC Academy Show. And in this show, in this episode, we're going to answer questions specifically targeted at young adults. That's young adults are between 11 and 17 and they fit into our academy program. We're really passionate about this age because it makes a huge difference in terms of people's futures if they develop habits at between, between 11 and 17. Uh, we know from our clients and our clients' children that if they can instill healthy, good habits and confidence, it literally stands in instead for the rest of their life. So, first question is... My son is really big for his age. Should he do all of the normal exercises? This is quite a, an interesting one because we some... 12 year olds, some 13 year olds, young men, or actually girls can look literally like they're adults. And so they can be fully sized. They can, I mean, I know 13 year olds are like six foot four, but the danger is that you treat them as if they are a six foot four year old man. Now, when you're that age, you would n most of the time have just grown very suddenly. So there is the risk that a lot of your musculature your strength in certain areas just hasn't developed and you're not able to do the things that you'd be able to do in 10 years time when you're fully developed. So the answer is very simply no, you shouldn't, you won't be able to do all of the different exercises. It's specific things like jumping and plyometric kind of exercises, really dynamic things. You've got to think, like Stephen was saying, is that one part of the body's grown, but not all parts of the body. And you need all parts of the body to be strong and to be stable, i.e. the muscles around the joints, all of that sort of thing, they might not have grown, uh, uh, your bones have obviously, but if you're doing things that are dynamic, things that require a lot of support, then you're going to be putting yourself, your child necessarily in, in a bit of jeopardy if they're doing all those big jumpy exercises and they haven't fully developed because they have just simply developed part of their body effectively. So the answer to that really is to, to make sure that if you are exercising, you're only exercising in a structured and professional environment so that you're being controlled with what you're actually being, you're actually doing. Mm -hmm. The worst thing to do is to a 13 year old to go and do what their dad does in a gym together because you just won't be ready to do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. You know, being in the gym with your father is brilliant as long as they're obviously they have knowledge to teach them, teach your child or teach their son and daughter the correct things that they should be doing for their age. Mm -hmm. This leads on to the next question quite well, which is... My child wants to do Olympic lifting. Is that okay? So, a lot of people often think that when you see Olympic lifting, now let me just give clarity on Olympic lifting, you see on the, in the Olympics bars with plates and they're doing all those sorts of all sorts of different exercises. That was a snatch demonstration, if you couldn't tell. And a lot of people think that that is very, very bad for, it will stunt people's growth, it will um, hurt knee joints. There's a few interesting stats. Number one, I think, is that Olympic lifters has the, have the least occurrence of knee injuries out of all different sports. But number two also is that an Olympic lifter who is competing in the Olympics at, say, 21, didn't start Olympic lifting at 18. Now, if you've seen some of these people, they're big, full grown ad adults. They didn't start Olympic lifting once once they were fully grown. They started when they were much younger. However, they didn't start with the you know at the finish line. They progressed all the way through technique wise to get to the level they're at. Now Olympic lifting is a great sport to take up as a young person, as long as as always it's done with a professional who knows about training um, young I mean, adults. that's vital. It's a very, very complex thing. And so really, the time you spend should be spent looking for the right coach yeah. of Olympic lifting. You can't you can't do that from watching YouTube videos. You can't do no, it. No, they need to be under instruction. That's the point. And if they are under right instruction, it's very, very beneficial, very, very good, because they're not going to be lifting super heavy weights. They're going to be working on technique, because like Stephen says, it's very, very, very technical, which is why you can have a 59 kg female. Now, bear in mind, I'm... 80 something kgs and they're 59 and they will be Olympic lifting pretty much double what I can and that's all technique. 
because obviously I'm much, much stronger. But um, that's pure technique. And they don't learn that in a, in a year when they're fully grown. They learn that as a child growing up. So I would certainly wouldn't deter you. I would say it's an excellent um, sport to take up as long as they're under instruction. I personally wouldn't have them, what, like Stephen says, watching YouTube videos doing it themselves. I would make sure that they are always under instruction. All right, so that's a short little episode. As always, we ask a question of the day. Um, my question of the day is, what is your most favorite Olympic sport? Obviously, we've just had the Olympics and the Paralympics. What was or is your most favorite Olympic sport to watch or in fact, to even do? Comment in the box below and let us know. As always, there are three ways that you can um, come and trial the DVCCs. There's a 30-day body transformation trial. This is the same for the Academy for 11 to 17 year olds. You can apply on there. A 30-day trial, a 21-day trial, and also a 15-day jumpstart trial, all um, extremely affordable to enable you to trial the different types of training at the DVCC. Go to the DVCC.com and click on the buttons there. As always, this is Mark and Steve from the DVCC. Bye-bye.